a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. We're going to take a look at a lithium ETF this time with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra. And something tells me that there's a Tesla connection here. Yes. So Tesla has been one of the hottest stocks this year. It's up more than 74% year to date. Mm -hmm. And rising demand for lithium from Tesla and other electric car makers is driving this metal, the lithium metal, and an ETF, the lithium ETF, higher. So I thought it may be a good, good time timing. to discuss. All right, so we'll start with, uh, I guess, the basics. What is lithium for people uh, who don't know? Yeah, it's rather little known ETF, uh, sorry, uh, metal. Uh, it's the world's large, uh, lightest metal, uh, silvery white in appearance. So it is also called white petroleum. Mm -hmm. What is special about this metal is that it has double the energy density of its next um, closest alternative. Uh, and unlike other popular metals like gold, silver, copper, it has no spot market for trading and it does not trade on futures exchanges. So most of the deals are over the counter between the buyers and sellers directly. So that is why it is a little bit difficult to get exposure to this metal directly. And so why is the demand for this metal rising? Is it all directly related to Tesla? Uh, it is related to a large uh, part due to the de rising demand from Tesla. Actually, it is one of the world's, it has become one of the world's hottest commodity, but it has abundant supply on Earth. It is not a rare material, uh, but extracting the material, this metal, is costly and time consuming. Mm -hmm. And because of its high density energy storage, it is used in rechargeable batteries for electric cars, uh, smartphones, laptops, and many other electronic devices. And in fact, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs estimates that lithium demand could triple by 20 25. And obviously, as you said, Tesla. Tesla is obviously the ha most high profile consumer of this metal. Sure. But uh, demand is rising from other electric car makers, particularly in China. Uh, the government plans to use and is using these batteries, lithium ion batteries, for uh, uh, electric buses and other vehicles. Well, getting back to Tesla, you say that uh, they plan to produce a half million cars by 2018. And one mil uh, million by 2020. They have ambitious aims. Yeah. And one Tesla Model S battery contains more lithium than 10,000 smartphones. Uh, so, in fact, last year, Elon Musk, uh, the CEO of Tesla, said that uh, in order to produce these uh, half a million cars, they will basically need to absorb entire world's lithium ion production. Wow. <laughs> uh, so that, that is ambitious, that isn't That is it? very ambitious. And they uh, started their own gigafactory for uh, lithium ion batteries. And uh, reportedly, the production has already started in that factory in Nevada. And it is expected to reach full capacity by uh, 2018. And Tesla aims to become the world's largest lithium ion battery producers which would be used in their cars. So there is more than just one lithium mining company, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, there, there, the, are in, the, the, there are a few others, so, but the industry is st still fa fairly concentrated and there is no big player in that market. It's mostly small players involved in mining of uh, lithium. All right, so let's zero in on this one uh, example that you brought with you, the Global X Lithium and Battery Tech ETF. Uh, the ticker is LIT. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the only ETF uh, which provides exposure to lithium uh, refiners, miners, and lithium battery producers. Oh. Okay. Uh, it is not cheap with an expense ratio of 76 basis points, which is much higher if you compare to uh, broader technology um, ETFs or other broader sector ETFs. But it is more or less in line with other uh, niche or thematic. The EDS. Not very popular. It has about 216 million in assets under management. Uh, Tesla, Panasonic, and FMC are among its top holdings. 
So how does it stack up against uh, the S&P? Uh, so obviously the rising uh, demand for lithium is sending the CDF higher. Uh, it's up more than 18% year to date compared to about 18, sorry, 8% 8 return for the S&P 500 index. That is interesting. Yes, it's an I, interesting ETF for sure. Yeah, do you own it? No, I don't. All right, check out more ETF information on our website, zax.com. All you need to do is use the Funds tab on the top toolbar on the home page that will help direct you to the ETF section of our website. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.